today videos I'm going to show you how to create Windows PE bootable. Um, I've been working on this for quite some time and um, I just want to make it so it recognizes the uh, label drives instead of um, assigned drive letters. So I came up with this batch file and it works really well. Um, so you can customize all menu like you see now um, in order to um, copy the whatever you wanted to. In this case, I'm doing um, hardware directors, fully novel and HP laptop or desktop. Um, so you can run hardware directors without having to connect it to USB, uh, from USB or boot from USB. Um, I have a HP as well, so um, showing you both of them works well um, with HP you have to press F2 in order to run hardware direct test um, you can customize to whatever you want it to do um, you can customize BIOS, BIOS update whatever customize any utilities tools that you needed um, are needed for uh, direct test so I don't want to keep USB on the drives all the time so I just take a partition so it copy into the local drive so I'll show you um, step by step with the batch file stay tuned and keep watching now um, so I got a folder here it's just a dummy folder so you can name whatever you wanted to and um, I have another video on how to create WinPE generic ISO image. I will put the link below. So I just renamed that. So I know I'm just organizing stuff. And um, <clears throat> um, you see boot.wim file. I just need to extract it to one of my folders so I could, can work on it. So just create a win file so you can create whatever names you wanted to I'm using Austra ISO to extracting the file that I want in this case I wanted boot.wim so I can customize so I'm gonna unmount it I'm using uh, DIMS GUI GUI DISM GUI program I'm uh, just gonna create the startnet.cmd. It's the batch file that I want to run, and I'm gonna open with um, Notepad. So I'm gonna write a batch file. So when it start up from Windows PE, it will automatically um, looking for WinPE drive, which I will show you there. So this is just echo of simple batch file. Now, I should not put start here and here and after I test it. I'm just gonna remove that one later on. Create a path, so it's just gonna run to from uh, X drive, which is a map RAM drive. So initial WinPE initial using WinPE initial. Now we're gonna have to find the drive letters that is with the label called WinPE. So it doesn't always looking for you know you don't have to. Uh, in case sometimes you have two drives in there, you don't have to assign the drive as D drive, E drive, C drive, with the extra.
Now you can copy that um, batch file or write down your notepad or something. I'm just going to speed it up so uh, we'll, you can just copy this one. So if WinP uh, letter drives do exist, we'll go to open bracket and then go to menu file. So CD go to the drive and then go to menu file. Now, when I ran this batch file, I end up with some problems because I, I suppose I put the cross bracket, I put um, the wrong. So you just got to put the close bracket, bracket here. It was, you won't be able to run it. I'll show you later. Yeah, with the close bracket, I just make another crypt, um, which I um, need to fix it. So I'll close bracket and go to menu, and also I'll um, remove the um, start here as well. So I just download the that program DISM GUI. You can Google and download them. Um, so now I'm just gonna um, mount the boot vim so I can copy the startup startnet.cmd into the um, system folder. I created a um, temp folder so it's just got some other stuff in there. So just clean it up and now ready to go. So you just mount the WIM file, it will um, mount all the file from the boot.wim. The only file that you need to copy is at this stage, it's startnet.cmd where we create it. And then copy into system32, there will be another file in there, same name, you just copy and replace all. So keep the dim go open. Just copy them across. Paste, copy and paste. Oh, don't drag them, because otherwise it will move them. And yep, replace them. And continue. Now you gotta make sure you. Uh, close the temp folder otherwise there will be some file that does remaining in there so you can't use that folder again until you restart the computer and delete it now it's unmounted new WIM will be under WIM file use that WIM file and then again drag and drop to the ISO image that you have created WinPE generic ISO image. Cool. Now, because I use the uh, Austro ISO, and I can just simply just double click it, and then uh, just copy or drag and drop into source and override the existing one. Now save the save the work we did 
I got the error here and um, it didn't seem to open it, so I don't know what it was. But I saw uh, my antivirus pop up, so I'm just gonna um, yeah allow this one to happen, so allow the apps. Click allow, got it, and try it again, it should work. So now I have the new ISO image and I'm gonna convert that ISO to become a bootable ISO. Now we need to have a look at what our next step um, would be um, is to create menu.cmd that, that menu.cmd there um, and press it in sign up tools folder name it menu.cmd and um, let's start from here it's a simple batch file so as always echo of color I'm probably not going to explain you guys a lot about the batch file so you can um, customize to whatever you need it and I'm just going to test it as we go So this just you can name menu whatever you want to name uh, giving a color as well the first one is HP directors second one is Lenovo directors and if you place number three exit so we'll set the command So saying we place number one is the go to HP like this. So we're just going to create a partition for it. Um, make a partition inside of the partition folder. Select this drive, clean the drive, create 30 gig drive, and then SI drive letter to R, save it. And then next one is copy the file across. So I'm using X command, copy from. This one should be HP, but same thing um, for Len Lenovo. So I just use that as a sample. Copies to our drive <coughs> as we did create a partition for it, um, the drive partition. And then remove the drive when it's finished. So So then we just create in create a Lenovo, Lenovo partition, save it, similar to HP one. So because I'm doing this one uh, live so I cannot um, when I went and run it I pick up some file close bracket I forgot to close bracket right there and you have to remove uh, start here I should have put it remove so I'm just gonna remove it and save it and then <coughs> copy this file back to the win boot boot.wim so open the program if you have any problem you can come back and then I'm showing you now so unfortunately I, I haven't practiced this one so I just do it real um, do it live so I hope you understand um, for the mistake that I did and as you know, computer never always get it right first time. So, so this one should be good. So, right. 
Right, so we're just going to copy them across. Just double check, make sure it's all good before I copy them so I don't have to do this part again. Same thing, go to window folder, system 32, override the existing one, and then, yep, unmount, dismount, save the change. So you, if this not working, you can um, repeat this step, and then you should be all good. Right, so now um, it's time for us to um, convert it to um, bootable USB key. So I'm just going to save boot.wim and override the previous one, save the configuration. <clears throat> and just close this one, get out of the way. Um, I was using Rufus. So you can download them from um, website. It's free. Obviously, you should. You can watch some other videos how to download how to download Rufus from the internet. So I just named them as WinPE because I was giving the drive letter as a WinPE. So anything with the la label uh, WinPE, it will automatically run. So make it easy. You don't have to worry about uh, having to concerning about too many drive, which drive should I decide to for this one to run properly? So by doing label, that makes a lot of sense. Once you're done, you can basically copy the two file, two folders across to the WinPE drive, and then test it. Make sure it's all working. Um, I tested and it's working well for me and you can also um, modify the batch file to whatever you want it to. It's really cool. It, it does a lot of great work for what I needed for my work as well. Um, also you can convert or you can copy, copy the um, BIOS utility of any type of brand of the computers without having to go into the windows and install from window installation winpe does it all and i hope you enjoy my video if you haven't already subscribed please do so for more videos thank you for watching and i will finish the copy part and show you right now See you next video.